Hello everyone. I would like to introduce to you creative and innovative thoughts of the Popcorn Wizards. We like to go out on the town from time to time. In doing that, we recreate, we call uh, or go on the internet, um, and we purchase movie tickets. And do we think that this is where the movie makes all their money? It's proven that they don't really get that much money out of the tickets that you buy. But they get more out of the concessions that you consume after you buy the tickets. This project that we're about to explore is designed to get more revenue streams as it concerns with popcorn. In order to do that, we look at new products and new markets and new processes as well as new models. I, am, <laughs> I sort of drafted my family in order to do this. And we formed a team called the Popcorn Wizards. This team was and consisted of my daughter, Mary Jane, Justin, my son, my wife, Jeannie, and my son's wife, Autumn. We looked at a brainstorming session around the game of pool. In order to do that, I designed the pool table as the center vocal point. Individuals could play pool, but they still had to put down their ideas. To start the, storm, the brainstorming session, I read the requirements. I added a little refreshment for breakfast since we did it in the morning uh, in March. Uh, and then I created this atmosphere of uh, ideas and they all tried to get into specifics and I didn't want that for this uh, this uh, brainstorming session so I just simply laid it out to them at, with with uh, post-it notes and such that they just needed to write down ideas uh, that just popped into their head we came up with new product ideas, uh, glowing in the glow in the dark popcorn, or or popcorn on on um, on the cob, where it would actually look like a a corn cob. Um, we we concentrated on different style, different flavors of it. Uh, we also thought, well, maybe it was one day that you brought the dog to the theater and, and you, your popcorn would be for the dog too. Um, we, we also came up with many other things like edible containers, uh, chocolate covered popcorn. It's not too much of a, a, a natural thing, but, but that's what a brainstorming sessions involved is you just don't restrict anything you just let the thoughts flow and if it if it's duplicated or something um, then it uh, it you, you just continue you just let it go um, the new markets when we were talking about that uh, we we came up with a popcorn theme uh, we came up with um, popcorn wonderland we came up with a Chippendale or Bunny Girl servers. Um, we even got into the genetic modified uh, ideas. Um, all of these ideas, uh, it just seemed to flow. It was a wonderful time. Uh, we got uh, very close with everybody in the family. We also had ideas of new processes. Uh, I mentioned the edible containers, um, popcorn balls shaped in movie theaters. Uh, we even came up with uh, soundproof popcorn makers that you have at your seat. All of these were just, it, it was just flowing for for the time. Um, we came up and, and, and even expanded on new ways that a theater could market itself. 
Um, you know, a, a theater could could throw um, customer contests, um, uh, throw surveys out for uh, experience. We even had popcorn eating contests at intermission. Now, nowadays, the, the, the movies go two and a half hours long with no intermission. Um, this goes back to some of the older movies that you would look at would actually have an intermission time for it and that it would just simply you'd have that 30 minutes like a drive-in theater where you'd have an intermission where you they'd actually take time to allow you to go get some popcorn uh, we even came up with an idea of having you become a theater critic as the movie's going so you see these television shows have uh tablets tablet screens or twitter feeds uh, on the bottom of the screen well you could do that for the theater also uh, it may not show on the screen as the movie's playing but you could actually have conversations with your fellow uh fellow theater goers that would allow you to uh to converse and and, and explain how you like a certain part of the movie as I mentioned before, new models, the the giant popcorn, popcorn-free theaters. Yeah, popcorn-free theaters where you didn't get popcorn, but maybe you got a hot dog or you got steak or you got, oh, sushi is a big thing these days. Um, then we also thought about having a drive-in feel inside uh, the theater. So you, you're... you're drive up if you guys remember drive-in theaters um you would drive in and you'd put a speaker in your window and you'd watch the movie through your front window of your car well maybe what we do is is we instead of uh, a speaker in the window we give you a set of headphones for you to listen to and and thus you're you're in a, a cocoon type thing where you might uh, uh, enjoy the theater a little bit more so we came up with some great ideas and we chose a few to give you a taste of a possible uh, selling pitch for you. One of them was, naturally, glow-in-the-dark popcorn. Have you ever spilled your popcorn bucket in the theater? What a mess! You have to spend the rest of the movie trying not to make a lot of noise when you shift in your seat. Well, fear no longer. We have brought to you on your next theater going glow in the dark popcorn. This popcorn lets you see what you're doing and allow access for your dining enjoyment. Even at intermissions, you will be able to toss the popcorn in the air and catch it in your mouth to impress your friends. Our next one was GMO investing in giant popcorn. Can you imagine one kernel per bucket? Well, maybe, maybe. This would provide a unique marketing ploy for those science fiction fe features for the theater. You would then be easier to change the flavor of the popcorn because of the size. You could put caramel toppings, chocolate toppings, anything, and it would still be just one kernel. Can you imagine the amount of money you might save just by one kernel and yes my group decided that the best thing in all uh, that we could provide as far as getting more people into the theater thus creating more opportunities for revenue were chippendale and bunny girl servers <laughs> i bet you Bet the title had you going. Imagine your servers coming to work in costumes of feature film characters. No one 
No, only are you provided with a lasting experience for your customers that will create the repeat business that a theater needs. Now, you could certainly take this the other direction as long as you segregate the time or maybe it would be a midnight showing where you could go to the other end of the spectrum with Chippendale and Bunny Girl servers. Creativity and innovation. That's what we want. I thoroughly enjoyed the brainstorming session and have become a true believer in the need for creativity and innovation in the workplace. This session was easy with my family as teammates but in the professional arena, brainstorming can be utilized in the forming stage of teams to get ideas flowing, to simply get to know one another, and to understand how your teammates think. It is this area that I believe I can utilize what I have learned in order to promote and enhance creativity and innovation. It is with this knowledge and the realization of the importance of the acceptance of others' ideas and the creation of a safe culture for those ideas that has brought to me the greatest enlightenment. In summary, I have found immense pleasure in learning innovative and creative ways of approaching team building and teamwork in my life. I found within myself a creative nature in presenting myself in words and orally that I had thought was only part of my stories and essays that I wrote for English. I developed a passion for creative writing this class has not only shown me that I can be creative in person, but has brought it to the surface in not only life at home, but work as well. I was not always the first one to pick up the phone or to greet someone at a company function, but that has changed and I have become more and more acceptable to others as well. This revelation I will strive to continue as I see it will only benefit me in my future. This class has helped strengthen my confidence in leadership as I formulate with my wife the foundation in honor of my daughter, Samantha. I see great things in the future and an increase in activity as I work on the board of directors and the steering committee to develop the website, go bags, and fundraising aspects that are needed to build a sustainable nonprofit organization. I want to thank you for the time that you have spent in watching and listening to me. Here are some of the resources for the pictures that I have provided in this PowerPoint, as well as the references that I have used to create the ideas that I've come up with. Once again, thank you for your time.